Will y'all come up here and uh, Councilwoman Wahar, though, is going to help me with this and uh, read the proclamation for us. Thank you. Good morning, everyone. African Americans have stirred our nation's conscience and helped shape our character. We honor the determination and commitment of generations of African Americans in pursuing the promises of America. February marks the annual observance of Black History Month, which recognizes the significant contributions, traditions, dedication, and the courage of African Americans. In honor of the efforts of people of African descent to destroy slavery and inaugurate universal freedom in the United States, the Association for the Study of African American Life and History has chosen African Americans in Times of War as the 2018 National Black History theme. So now therefore, pursuant to the powers vested in me as the mayor of the city of Corpus Christi, I do hereby proclaim the month of February 2018 Black History Month in Corpus Christi and urge all Americans to study and reflect on the value of their contributions to the nation. So let's give them a hand and who do I need to give this document? Oh. You may recognize this. You may recognize this lady right here, but I'm going to ask her to say something. Good after, well, good afternoon, I guess. Um, we are so thankful in AACP for uh, getting this proclamation, and um, we um, hope that everybody can uh, join in and, and learn about our history. Who are these folks here helping? You? This is uh, Miss Pullum, and this is uh, Pastor uh, Richardson. Okay, the next one, before, before we come up, and I'll probably botch the name, but uh, we want to welcome the group of st students from the, wait a minute, Science, Technology, Engineering, and Math program. Is that right? <laughs> Y'all stand up and wave howdy. Now that, that that's... It. Is that the official title of the name of the school? What's the official title of the school? It's All right. Well, <laughs> if, you, if you really want to kind of be embarrassed, I went out this last Saturday to their, I guess it was science fair or maybe just, I'm not sure. Huh? What is it? STEM Fest. STEM Fest. <laughs> They're not shy. Uh, but anyway, I went out there and I'm telling you, they're doing stuff way above my pay grade. So if you ever have a chance to go by and see what they're doing out there, I'm sure that they would welcome you. But uh, it's, it's amazing. And the first, I went a couple of months ago and visited, and I walked out of there with a little replica of looked like a castle. It was about this big and it stood about this high. And I mean, the intricate detail on that castle, and I don't know whether they designed the program or what, but it was made by one of those laser printers, or what do you call them? Well, anyway, I'm used to a printer that prints like this. But I mean, it was unbelievable. And I mean, it's just normal stuff for them, so I'm gonna get two or three phone numbers, so when I have computer problems at the house, I can call them. <laughs> because I think they know what they're talking about. But anyway, we're glad you're here, and I know you hate being out of school coming down here to city council meeting. No? Okay. 
Well, we're glad you're here, and thank you for coming, and congratulations on the work you're doing out there. It's wonderful. And that, thank you, teachers and the administrators out there, too. It's a, it's a challenge. And I, I'm glad it's you and not me out there trying to teach them something, because they no, wouldn't learn anything from me. But anyway, we have, thank you for being here. Now we've got National LULAC Week. Who's uh, going to be here for that? All right. Now, students, if you want to have one of these days have some type of a, a collection program of something to demonstrate a variety of different things, this lady right here, if you, if you ever want to see a variety of hats, she has more hats than I think Padre Island has sand, but, uh, and, and she wears them beautifully, and, and uh, it's fun to see which hat she's going to be wearing next, so we're glad she's here. All right, the National LULAC Week. The League of United, United Latin American Citizens, better known as LULAC, was founded in Corpus Christi in 1929 and is the oldest and largest Hispanic civil rights organization in the country. LULAC will be celebrating its 89th anniversary in 2018. LULAC has vigorously addressed many complex issues in, impacting Hispanic position on education, employment, training, economic development, and civil rights. It has developed and implemented programs for the betterment of the community to include housing, job creation, and the outstanding community leader honorees for National LULAC Week of 2018 in Corpus Christi. And you're all going to have to help me on some of these. Dr. Melissa Macias. Ambassador of the Year, Mr. Raul Vasquez, Humanitarian of the Year, Dr. Eric T. Vela, uh, Business of the Year, Dr. Mark Escamilla, Academic Achievement of the Year, Mr. Philip Ramirez, Turner Ramirez Architects, Dr. Osbert Blow, Krista Spahn Hospital, District Judge Sandra L. Watts, New Aces County 117th District Court, Mr. Mark Gonzalez, New Aces County District Attorney. Now, therefore, pursuant to the powers vested in me as the mayor of the city of Corpus Christi, I do hereby proclaim February the 11th through the 17th, 2018, as National LULAC Week in Corpus Christi, Texas, and encourage all citizens to recognize and express appreciation to LULAC Council Number 1 and their distinguished honorees for their dedication and contribution to the community. They do a great job, and uh, we're glad you're here, and we're glad we could do this, and I'll give you the proclamation, and then you... Uh, Tell us what's on your mind. Thank you. Mayor, thank you very much. February 17th, 1929, uh, a place not so far from here, Lipana Carrizo, was the first LULAC convention. Three organizations, the Sons of America from Corpus Christi, Ben Garza, the Knights of America from San Antonio, MC Gonzalez, and League of Latin American Citizens from the Valley with uh, with uh, Alonso Perales. JT Canales wanted the motto all for one and one for all because of what was going on then. The rest, as we say, is history. Now there are over 900 councils in the United States and 100, over 150,000 LULAC volunteers. We're all volunteers in what we do, but it's the volunteers that are driving force behind any organization, any league, or any council. We achieve what we do because of our councils, and these people we are recognizing this year are individuals that, that epitomize the tenets of LULAC, which is civil rights, human rights, and justice. Mayor, we thank you very much. Lucy? I mean, uh, I at Lucy. I, 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 she looks at Lucy. Susie. Uh, Susie Luna Saldana, uh, Chief of Staff of Council Number One. Yvette Aguilar, member and uh, co-coordinator for this year's 59th annual Feria de las Flores pageant. Well, thank you very much. Let's get a picture of the group here. Love your 
heart. They're the ones that gave us all the heart. <laughs> well, they, they, they said the, uh, uh, they'd been around since, uh, what year was it, 19 what? 1929. I thought maybe one of your, your founding members, Reuben Bonilla, might be here with you today, but um, Reuben came and visited our high school when I was there. Uh, he was just a year ahead of me. <laughs> but uh, anyway, Lulac has survived in spite of Reuben Bonilla. So anyway, that... Uh... All right, now I love your heart day. Everybody loves their heart, and this is the Spawn folks coming down. And in case you haven't noticed, if you drive up and down Santa Fe or Third Street or Ocean Drive or something, they've got a little construction going on down at their facility. And um, it's, uh, it's expected to be finished, did you tell me, this year? Um, construction's uh, complete December 2018, and uh, we have we call heads in the beds oh, in March. That reminds me, the construction superintendent contacted me and asked to see if any of you want to go for a little tour of the project, and we'll go down there. So be thinking about when we go down and kind of see where it is. All right, Lucy. Oh, oh here you are right here. <laughs> Good morning, everyone. Love your heart day. Heart disease kills one in four Americans every year. Heart disease is a leading cause of death for both men and women. Christus Spawn Heart Institute encourages all Corpus Christi residents and surrounding communities to know their heart health numbers, knowing your blood pressure, your blood sugar, and body mass index numbers is beneficial and can help reduce your risk of developing heart disease, diabetes, and other serious illnesses. To show that loving your heart can make a difference in your heart health, Christus Pond Heart Institute heartily exhorts all citizens to know their heart health numbers by making an appointment with their primary care physician. Now, therefore, pursuant to the powers vested in me as mayor of the city of Corpus Christi, I do hereby proclaim Tuesday, February the 13th, 2018, as Love Your Heart Day in Corpus Christi. And so, love your heart today and tomorrow and always, so to take care of you. You only have one shot at it. So, who's going to be the spokesman for the group? And here's the proclamation that we'd like to give you and that celebration and declaration. Thank you, sir. Good morning, all. My name is uh, Jeff Horniak. I'm the uh, market director for cardiovascular services with Krista Spawn. We appreciate uh, the invitation for us to come down today. Uh, for me, every day is heart day. Um, but really, February is, is really the, the focus month for us. As we said, one in four. So over 600,000 people die every year of heart disease. Uh, it, is a, you know, it is a very treatable disease. However, as we said, it's something that you need to see your physician and get, early in, get in early to see. We have a website that you can do a health assessment at christusspawn.org. You can take our heart healthy assessment, and as we said, then if you see something there, you check with your physician. So the entire team, again, we have a crew here that's here today. We also have a campus expansion, so we are starting to bring a lot of cardiovascular services here. We're doing a lot of things, exciting things with technology, structural heart, a lot of things that we're trying to manage here locally that used to go up to San Antonio and, and Austin. So a lot of exciting things coming our way that we're bringing for the community. So we appreciate the opportunity. Well, we thank you very much for Spawn being here and the investment you're making in the community and trying to keep us healthy. If we just pay attention to do a few of the right things, we might put you all out of business one of these days. All right. Well, thank you very much. Let's get a picture, and then we'll say hello to the council. Oh. Oh, okay, more pictures.
Actually, don't oh, jump. It's a good thing. Okay. One. All right, our next one is uh, National Engineers Week. Have we got any engineers that want to come down? <laughs> I'm not going to make any jokes about engineers. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> That's right. Councilman uh, Rudy Garza is going to help us on this one. Y'all yeah, stand over here. Eh? Yeah, y'all kind of, we're going to engineer this a little bit. Y'all move down a little bit so we can kind of get everybody. All right. All right. We'll do that when we get a picture. All right. Who, who's the spokesman for this organization? You're the spokesman. All right. Well, Rudy, there's a, the there's a spokesman right there. Pass it to him, brother. Good morning. National Engineers Week. Engineers dedicate their professional and technical knowledge and skills to the advancement and betterment of human welfare. They place the public welfare above all other considerations in engineering smarter and safer communities. Engineers face a major technological challenges of our time, such as rebuilding towns devastated by natural disasters, designing space rockets and sophisticated satellites, contributing to the advancements of complex medical treatments, and creating a wide array of devices which improve the quality of life for millions of people throughout the world. Engineers continue to encourage and work with our young math and science students, like the ones we had here today, to realize the practical power of their knowledge, and because more than ever, Engineers will be called to aspire to the challenges of the new horizons. Eagle Mayor. Now, therefore, pursuant to the powers vested in me as the mayor of the city of Corpus Christi, I do hereby proclaim February 18 through 24 of 2018 National Engineers Week in Corpus Christi, Texas, and urge all citizens to support the engineering profession and the professionals who use their talents to improve our way of life. And you do a good job. We appreciate it very much. Just draw the line straight. <laughs> <laughs> thank you, member, uh, Mayor. Thank you, Councilman. Um, I, I do want to thank uh, my fellow engineers for their selfless commitment to their engineering duties. It truly is a, a selfless uh, job. Um, uh, so next year is Engineers Week. Uh, next week, sorry, is Engineers Week. And uh, if you have a, an engineer in the family, or if you have a friend that's an engineer, I encourage you to to thank them. Uh, and uh, uh, take them out to, to lunch, maybe. It's, it's <laughs> um, in addition to that, uh, keep an eye on Sunday's paper. We're going to have an announcement in there for the Engineer of the Year and uh, the, the Young Engineer of the Year and the Engineering Student of the Year that we recognize as, uh, as an organization, which that organization is the uh, Texas Society of Professional Engineers, and I, Sam Saldivar, am the, uh, the president of the Oasis chapter. So thanks again. 